morning. You do rumble. Sunday morning. Let me get let me get turned around here. There we go. Grab your cup of Joe. Let's go. Starting my morning with Java Jake's Roastery Peru number four. Dark roast. A little bit of cream. Sun is shining. It's supposed to be raining, so they lied. I'm good with that. been trying to clean the mess up out here get it get it tidied up 34 balmy degrees today we got two weather alerts here let's see what they say hello open up Sunday 333 3 a.m. they're very precise to Wednesday 1 a.m. A winter storm watch and the second one is Sunday 2 p.m. to Monday 2 a.m. rain so they're covering their bases we're going to snow and rain at the same time winter storm watch now in effect from late tonight through late Tuesday night what heavy lake effect snow you know Got that lake just right over there. On a hot summer day, you can smell it. The heaviest snow falling Monday night and Tuesday, winds should gust as high as 35 mile an hour. There you go. Now for the daily precipitate rain. Rain is expected this afternoon and evening and overnight. There you go. There's our weather alerts. So maybe we're finally going to get the first real snow of the season. Which... Hate it. Well, we managed to get a little, little backstory on uh, young Mr. Bradley. Apparently, a particular law enforcement agency showed up at his house, which wasn't his house because he had moved out and moved in with his girlfriend. Now, months ago and talked to young Mr. Bradley's brother Michael who well we don't we don't snitch so he's like no nope, don't know where he's at haven't seen him haven't talked to him and they went on their merry way and his brother made a phone call and said hey they're looking for you and he was gone like a rabbit in the woods. Nobody knows. It wasn't all that long ago that they had stopped, the law enforcement agency had stopped here looking for him and nope, we ain't seen him. <coughs> Which was true, we ain't seen him or talked to him. So, anyways, keep your eyes open on uh, America's Most Wanted. He would have the distinction of being 
the third relative that has appeared on America's Most Wanted. Oh, yeah, I got one of them families. Talk about some uh, freedom maintenance. Maintenance. How often do you do maintenance? After every time you gone to the range, you come home, take them apart, clean them, oil them, pull them back together, get them ready for the next time? Or do you run a few hundred through it? I've had mine long enough that right about the 350 to 400 range, the performance starts uh, slacking off. So I, I keep a log, got a little book, keep it online, that when it, when they, when they get close to the 350 mark, that's when, that's when I take them apart, clean them, oil them, shine them back up, get him ready to go again. You know, Uncle Willie, he was talking the other day when he goes to the range, his, his range charges 20, 20, 22 bucks an hour. My range, well, it's not mine, but the one we go to, flat rate, 20 bucks. You can show up when they open the door and you can be there when they kick you out at night. 20 bucks. Unless you decide you want to shoot a shotgun, then it's 22 bucks. Me and the boys were talking Friday about there's, a, there's an alleged ammunition shortage a coming. And how much do we have on hand? And I, I'm like, I don't got the slightest idea how many I, what I have on hand. So we counted. For each one of my pieces of freedom, I have right around a thousand rounds for each one. And I said, well, that's pretty good. Now my sons, they're like, oh, we got triple that. So I guess I gotta go shopping. Cause, well, you wanna be ready. Cause I think I think 2024 is going to be a going to be a year that uh, they bring it to our shores. You know, like 9/11, that was just a test drive to see if it could be done. The other day, they had a, uh, it started out as an act of terrorism up there in uh, Niagara Falls at the Peace Bridge. Then they changed the news story to, no, it wasn't, the, the car was not loaded with explosives or whatever. But we seen the film on that car. If that car didn't have a bomb in it, I would never own a Mercedes the way it blew up. And 
and we're letting them into our country now. They might be minding their business, but you know they're going to make their business our business sooner or later. Somebody commented the other day that, you know, I needed a red dot on something. I think the 40 caliber. Mm, no. One, I'm on a budget. I buy budget guns, in case you didn't know. And my red dots, green dots, they all got their place. My particular opinion is you take the you take the weapon as is and you become the best you can with it. The way it is, right out of the box. And then when you get to that point, then you can start adding your doodads, your your red dot. Now the light, I can I can understand that. That's you know, in a dark house, yeah, that could work. So. Eventually, I'll have I'll have optics, but not anytime soon. What else? I guess that's about it. Oh, I went, I went grocery shopping yesterday and put a uh, uh, Smith and Wesson thirty eight air weight air weight into layaway. Stopped at my favorite pawn shop. And the dude, he's like, well, what are you looking for today? And I'm like, well, I'm looking for a, like a 357. He goes, oh, I don't have any of that. He goes, but, he goes, I got one in the back I've been holding that I knew you would, you, you would be interested in. And he came out with this uh, Smith & Wesson Airway 38. Model 362, I believe. <clears throat> Every now and again, local police departments will trade them in, trade their, their, their sidearms in for new ones, and then this place where they trade them in, all the other little shops can, it's like a little auction. You know, all these other little shops can go in and make bids and pick them up. And this is what this is. What this, is. this was a uh, law enforcement return. So you know it's taken care of. I don't know if it was a backup or, or what. I don't, you don't know the history. You just know where it, it came from, one of the local departments around here. So anyways, that's about it for today. Um, oh, for those that ask, yes, the Heritage 22 does work, does fire. I, uh, while I was out yesterday, I went to an undisclosed uh, location and put six through it. Now it's over on the table so I can reload it put it back in the, uh, the glove box. I'm going to keep it. I got plans for it. If they work out. Oh. 
Nothing like a hot cup of coffee on a chilly old morning. Well, I'm going to go. I got to, I'm getting things tidied up here, getting ready to make sure we can get mom's car in here if it does start to snow. Get the cover on the toolbox for it for the uh for the gun stuff i finally dug it out it, it's been laying over here it used to be the grill cover nobody you can't find toolbox covers they're all grill covers i don't understand and i don't understand why hobo freight don't have box covers. I mean, they sell the toolboxes. Why not have covers to go on them? I've emailed them. They don't answer. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Go be kind. It's free. Make somebody smile. Anything exciting happens, I'll be back. If not, We'll see you in the morning. Peace.